What's good, YouTube? This is Ricky J, man. Welcome to another crazy video, and I thought, why not create Jake Paul and Nate Robinson in the very old Fight Night Champion game and create a simulation video? Because for all you guys that don't know, Jake Paul and Nate Robinson are going to be squaring off in a full contact boxing match, not like the main event. If you guys didn't know, man, Tyson versus Jones, they're adding all these rules. No knockouts, no judges, no winner will be announced. It's kind of silly. Let's see if Tyson follows that. But in this co-main event, it's a traditional boxing match, man. It's full contact. They, there will be judges, and somebody may get knocked out. It's going to be eight rounds. So um, I cannot wait to see what happens. Just to warn you guys, making these fighters, or making these guys, let's call them fighters, these boxers in the game, you know, the old Fight Night Champion game doesn't really give you a lot of options when it comes to the creation aspect of the game. So I apologize if they don't look exactly like the real life counterparts, but this is the closest I could get. So yeah, man, but I think I did a decent job. I really did. I felt like I did a decent job. Nate Robinson is growing the hair out, so I gave him the classic man bun. But um, as far as the matchup, you know, Holy smokes, I was really leaning towards Nate Robinson in this matchup, you know, just because he's a true athlete, he really is, you know, a lot of people know him for being a three-time dunk competition champion in the NBA, but he was also a high-level football player, and he was also very successful at being a respectable scorer in the NBA, especially being so undersized for that sport, being only five foot nine. He was so incredibly quick and strong, um, and I think he really had a respectful NBA career. But as far as boxing, he's never had a real fight. And um, Jake Paul, you know, even though Jake Paul fought a couple of tomato cans and Deji and Anis and Gibb, you know, Paul is moving up in competition. But I just feel like Paul's put a lot of time. But look at Nate starting off great right here. But Paul's put a lot of time into practicing and becoming a better fighter. He's 23 years old. He's very young. Robinson in the tail end of his athletic career at 36. So right now, um, as I was saying, I was leaning towards Nate. But after watching all the videos of both of these guys training, I'm kind of leaning towards Jake Paul, man. Let me know in the comments. But as far as this matchup, who knows? Who knows what's going to happen? It really is. Oh, it really is an unknown. You know, I know a lot of people are leaning towards Jake. Um, some people are even saying that, you know, don't sleep on Nate. And obviously, but when you're dealing with two guys that aren't technically professional boxers, anything is possible. Definitely, anything's possible. But look at this. I love the head movement on the AI Nate. <laughs> Doing a great job. He is at a reach disadvantage. But in my opinion, he's got he's to gotta stick and move. And, um, and then get inside, get in that phone booth, get in that pocket, and throw some uppercuts. Oh, nice jab by Nate Robinson. I like what he's doing, man. He's <laughs> he's being very passive. It is eight rounds. It is eight rounds. And both of these guys have to be careful in this game and in real life of not gassing themselves out. As far as the gas tank, though, you got to give the, the edge to um, Jake Paul just because he's been in there. He's been in there in a fight, in a full contact fight. And who am I to say? But I got to say, man. Oh, nice. Nice shot by Nate. Um, I did a couple of, um, you know, boxing sparring um, practice sessions with some buddies who are boxers. And holy cow. Boxing, you get tired fast, man. Especially when somebody's trying to take your head off. But right here, we're seeing a pretty even fight. Jake is landing some shots. He's really going to the body. He's trying to clench right there. Oh, nice head movement. I love the head movement. The thing is with Nate, though, in this matchup, he's going to have to deal with gravity punching up a little bit. But 5'9", um, he's got the short arms. If he can get inside, he's got to hurt Jake and really gain uh, the respect from Jake in that first round. I don't know if you guys heard, but um, I was doing a lot of research in this fight. And Jake Paul, he's predicting a first round KO. And he's like, if you want to make money, Bet on me, first round KO. So we shall soon see, man. Remember, it's not like the, uh, it's not like MMA where it's five minutes in a round. It's three minutes. So it's got to really um, push forward. But wow, what a competitive round. I don't know, man. <laughs> that was a pick em round. Really, it was. But you know what's so funny? Let me know if you agree with this. 
when they do boxing matches and um, they have like YouTubers or amateur, just like people that are famous and they're amateur fighters that go into the ring, I get more excited for the amateur matches over the professional fights. Because in this uh, in this event, I am looking forward to this fight more than the main event. Just because, for me, it's the uh, the element of the unknown. You know, you don't know what you're gonna expect from Nate Robinson. You don't know if Jake Paul is gonna, you know, whiff on a shot and get knocked out, or if he's gonna knock out Nate in the first minute. Who knows? Oh, nice, good head movement. Nate can't be over committing on his shots because he's getting a taste of success. And now Paul is really keying in on those, those shots as the uh, both guys are winding up here. But I was going to say, Nate seems to be really, um, you know, clocking back on those, <laughs> on those hooks and uppercuts and telegraphing a shot. Oh, is he hurt? Nate is hurt. I think that was a shot to the gut. It really was a shot to the gut. Paul is looking to get the first knockdown of the fight. We got some early drama here. <laughs> and I want to just say, man, thank you so much. Oh, but Nate rocked him right back. Oh, he had a window of opportunity to counter. And Nate, oh no. And Nate just got clocked. And down he goes. Oh, man. It was so crazy because momentum was swinging towards Nate's way. And he, he had an opportunity to capitalize and he missed it and now he's hurt and look at that speed oh my gosh he's hurt again the speed advantage is definitely at Jake Paul at this point in the fight just because Nate's looking a little winded but if you look at the stamina bar man Paul's got to watch his stamina as well because he kind of got rocked a little bit right there oh my gosh Nate's got <laughs> Nate Robbins has got to be careful man <laughs> He's still like pushing forward. Nice counter. Oh, and again. Again, he had an opportunity. He kind of slipped away right there. But the heart of Nate Robinson in this game and in real life is for real, man. He is going to really put forth his best effort. And it's going to be such an entertaining matchup. It really is. Really looking forward to this. The pace has kind of slowed down. Nice. Oh. Nice hook right there. He dug deep. He dug deep right there. But it looks like Nate is kind of settling in. You know, <laughs> the adrenaline dump is now fading. Oh, and he's doing good. Forcing Paul to back up. Paul's backing up, but nice. Paul playing playing possum. Oh, and he got him to the gut again. Now he's going up high. Nate needs to clinch. He's still fighting back. Oh, now he's backing away. He's moonwalking away. Oh. The story of this fight, oh no, and down he goes. The story of this fight has to be that Nate Robinson had opportunities to counter and he's just slightly missing the window. And let's see if he's gonna get up. Oh my gosh, looks like he's on skates right here. No, 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 get up, get up, get up. Oh, he got up, 10 seconds. Nice, oh, you know what it is? It's the lack of, it's his reach. His reach being so small, he's not able to um, to counter and take advantage of those opportunities. But he got saved by the bell. <laughs> and I know I say this every second video that Saved by the Bell is coming back. You know the show from the 90s? It is coming back and I cannot wait to watch the first episode. <laughs> Unbelievable. But I'm disappointed Screech isn't in it. How can Screech not be in the new Saved by the Bell? That is highly disappointing. But what's not disappointing is this simulation matchup, man. It really is so exciting, man. I'm kind of winded. I got to I gotta be honest with you guys. I'm kind of winded. Let's see what Nate shows up here in the third round, man. He is hurt. He's hurt. Oh, my gosh. It's crazy how Jake is um, setting up shots to the body. And once he's got him hurt down low, he's teeing off and hurting him up high. But Nate is going down on his shield right here. Just still throwing shots. He's got to be careful. Oh, my gosh. He's hurt again. He's hurt again. Spit out the mouthpiece. <laughs> Get a breather. Isn't that like the cheesiest thing to do in a combat sport? Just spit out the mouthpiece. Nice counter right there. Because then the referee has to stop the fight and give you the mouthpiece back. Oh, he's hurt again. This could be the end for Nate. 
Lack of experience, father time, <laughs> you name it, but it ain't over yet. Nice, still swinging away. He's in pure survival mode. Jake Paul looking sharp. Not living up to his word of uh, knocking him out in the first round, but he's doing great right here. Doing great, great, being very methodical on his shots, not blowing his stamina, powering forward. Oh, big shot right there. Oh no, oh no, and Nate. Swatted flies right there. And Big Daddy Nate Robinson. Oh, he just got dunked on right there with a shot. I don't think he's going to get up. But he does have the heart. Still trying to get up. This is a Balboa moment. This is a Balboa moment, man. He could still do this. Yell out Adrian and <laughs> just start teeing off on him. Go on zombie mode. Go in zombie mode, baby. Nice. There's a nice uppercut and a hook. I'm telling you, man, it ain't over yet. That's what I was saying about amateur fights. It's never in the bag. It's like Nate is, uh, remember, was it Lionheart? <laughs> in the Van Damme movie? Where they're like, Van Damme's corner is like, it's on him, man. The whole bet's on Attila. And then after um, Van Damme got knocked down, he looks at his corner and he goes, wrong bet. And then he came back and destroyed Attila and won. And won a lot of money in that. And... Robinson needs to do that. Channel is inner Van Dam. Channel is inner Rocky Balboa. It's just like, oh no, but da <laughs> daddy goes again. Oh man, I was hoping for a storybook comeback, but I think this is it. Holy cow. Getting knocked down multiple times. Oh no, too many drinks for Nate, and it's over. Oh man. What a matchup right there. So there you have it. The simulation picks Jake Paul to win in the third round by KO. Let me know if you agree with this. If you're wondering about the stats, I um, gave the stat edge slightly to Jake Paul. Um, but I, I did still give Nate some really incredible stats. I think I only... Um, you know, I only had Jake in terms of stats up by a couple of notches, so it was pretty even. But as far as this matchup, oh my gosh, you don't see a lot of 10-7 rounds. Oh, man. Big time KO right there, and it's done. Jake takes the victory, and even though previously he fought a couple of cans, now he beat an athlete. And who is he going to face next, man? That's the big question. But thank you guys so much for tuning in. Oh man, that was a lot of fun, man. I gotta say, that was a lot of fun to commentate over, even though it was just for fun. But I wanna hear your predictions. Like I said, if you weren't listening, my heart was, um, my heart and money was with Nate. <laughs> but I think now my money is with Jake. So um, let me know. Can't wait to hear your thoughts. And again, as always, thank you so much for the support. You guys are the best. And happy Thanksgiving to all my Americanos friends out there. I'm not American, man. I'm Canadian. We celebrate our Thanksgiving in October. But I got to say much love to all my American subscribers and viewers. And much love to all of you, man. Keep it smiling. Keep it laughing. And keep it locked here on Ricky J. That might be my new line. I like that. But anyway, all the best, man. I'm out of here.